Welcome to this video about Sweden's best places. Sweden is a country full of natural beauty, vibrant culture, and rich history. From the northern lights in La- In this video, we will take you on a virtual tour of some of the best places to visit in Sweden, highlighting their unique features and why they should be on your travel list. Sweden is located in Northern Europe, known for its picturesque landscapes, innovative design, and progressive social policies. It boasts a diverse range of attractions, from stunning fjords and forests to modern cities and quaint towns. Whether you are an outdoor enthusiast seeking adventure or a culture buff looking to immerse yourself in the local way of life, Sweden has something to offer. If you learn more about this fascinating country, this video will provide you with a comprehensive guide to Sweden's top attractions. So get ready to explore the wonders of Sweden. Number 1. Stockholm City Hall Stockholm City Hall is a beautiful and iconic landmark in the city of Stockholm, Sweden. It is located on the eastern shore of Kungsholmen Island and is known for its distinctive red brick architecture and tall bell tower. One of the main attractions of the City Hall is the Blue Hall, which is a grand hall used for various ceremonies and events, including the Nobel Prize Banquet. The hall is named after its blue walls, which are actually made of brick and covered with a blue plaster. Another popular spot to visit in the City Hall is the Golden Hall, which is covered in gold mosaic tiles and features impressive murals depicting scenes from Swedish history. The hall is often used for concerts and other cultural events. The interior of the City Hall is just as impressive as the exterior, with beautiful marble floors, intricate stucco ceilings. The City Hall also has several other meeting rooms and halls, each with its own unique style and function. Number 2. Turning Torso in Malmö The Turning Torso is a famous landmark in Malmö, Sweden, and definitely worth a visit if you're in the area. The Turning Torso is located in the Western Harbour area of Malmö, a short distance from the city centre. The Turning Torso is a sustainable building, with features such as solar panels, a rainwater collection system, and energy-efficient heating and cooling systems. It was the first residential tower in the world to receive a LEED Gold Certification for Sustainability. The Western Harbour area is home to several other interesting attractions, including the nearby Malmö Live Concert Hall, the Seafront Promenade, and the Malmö Museum. You may want to plan to spend some time exploring the area while you're there. The Turning Torso is sometimes used as a venue for events such as concerts and exhibitions. Check ahead to see if there are any events scheduled during your visit as they can add to the experience of visiting this iconic building. Number 3. Gamla Stan in Stockholm Gamla Stan, which means Old Town in Swedish, is one of the must-visit places in Stockholm. Stroll through the narrow streets and admire the colorful buildings and architecture of the medieval era. Visit the Royal Palace, which is the official residence of the King of Sweden. The palace also houses several museums, including the Royal Army and the Treasury. Stortorget, the main square in Gamla Stan, which is surrounded by beautiful buildings and features an impressive statue of Street, George and the Dragon. Nobel Museum has a range of interactive exhibits and displays. Stockholm Cathedral is the oldest church in Gamla Stan and dates back to the 13th century. Explore the narrow alleys and hidden courtyards, which are filled with shops selling souvenirs, handmade crafts, and traditional Swedish delicacies. Overall, Gamla Stan is a charming and historic district that is definitely worth a visit when in Stockholm. Number 4. Stortorget in Stockholm Stortorget is a public square located in the center of Gamla Stan, the old town of Stockholm, Sweden. It is one of the oldest squares in Stockholm and is surrounded by many historic buildings. Stortorget is a popular tourist destination and is often bustling with activity. The square has a long and rich history dating back to the Middle Ages. It was the site of the Stockholm bloodbath in 1520, where the Danish king Christian D executed around 80 Swedish nobles and other important people. Later, during the 17th and 18th centuries, Stortorget became the center of trade and commerce in Stockholm. Today, it is surrounded by restaurants, cafes, and souvenir shops. One of the most notable buildings on Stortorget is the Stock Exchange Building, the square is also home to the Storkerkan, a beautiful medieval church that is the oldest in Stockholm. 
Another notable building is the Ritterhuset, which is home to the Swedish House of Nobility. Number 5. Kalmar Castle Kalmar Castle is a beautiful and historic castle located in Kalmar, Sweden. It is a popular tourist attraction and a must-visit for anyone interested in Swedish history and architecture. The castle is surrounded by beautiful grounds and gardens, which are open to the public. Take a leisurely stroll through the gardens and enjoy the picturesque views of the castle and the surrounding area. The Castle Museum is located inside the castle and is home to a large collection of artifacts and exhibits related to Swedish history and culture. The castle's tower offers spectacular views of the surrounding area, including the nearby Kalmar Strait. Visitors can climb the tower and take in the stunning views from the top. The castle is a popular venue for concerts, theater performances, and other cultural events. Overall, a visit to Kalmar Castle is a fascinating and informative experience that should not be missed if you are in the area. Number 6. Orison Bridge The Orison Bridge is a magnificent engineering marvel that connects Denmark and Sweden. It is a combined bridge and tunnel structure that spans across the Orison Strait and is one of the longest cable-stayed bridges in the world. Once you are on the bridge, you will be able to enjoy breathtaking views of the strait and the surrounding landscape. There are also several rest areas along the way where you can stop and take pictures or simply enjoy the scenery. If you are interested in learning more about the bridge and its history, you can visit the Orison Bridge Exhibition, which is located in the Pieberholm Visitor Center on the Danish side of the bridge. The exhibition offers a fascinating insight into the construction and operation of the bridge, as well as its impact on the region and the world. Overall, a visit to the Orison Bridge is a unique and memorable experience that should not be missed if you are in the area. Number 7. Djurgården in Stockholm Djurgården is a beautiful island in Stockholm, Sweden, and it offers plenty of attractions to visit. Skansen is the world's oldest open-air museum, showcasing traditional Swedish architecture, crafts, and culture. Vasa Museum houses the Vasa, a Swedish warship that sank on its maiden voyage in 1628 and was later salvaged. Grona Lund Park offers a variety of rides and attractions for visitors of all ages. Rosendal's Tragard Garden is a tranquil oasis in the middle of the city with organic vegetable gardens, fruit orchards, and a cafe. Take a boat tour around Djurgården and explore the island's waterways. Nordic Museum displays Nordic cultural history including art, design, and everyday life. Circus Venue hosts a variety of performances, from traditional circus acts to concerts and theater shows. Junibakken Children's Museum is based on the stories of author Astrid Lindgren, featuring exhibits and activities inspired by her books. Number 8. Gotland Gotland is a Swedish island located in the Baltic Sea, about 90 kilometers off the country's southeast coast. It is the largest island in Sweden and the largest island in the Baltic Sea. The island has a population of around 60,000 people, with the largest city and capital being Visby. Gotland has a rich history and is home to many ancient structures, including the ring-shaped prehistoric monument known as the Stora Hammer Stone Circle and the medieval city walls of Visby. The island is also known for its unique nature and wildlife, including the Gotland Pony a breed of horse that is native to the island. Tourism is an important industry on Gotland, with visitors drawn to the island's natural beauty, history, and culture. The island also has a thriving food and beverage scene, with many locally produced goods, such as cheese and honey. The island is known for its annual events, including the Gotland Grand National, a large off-road motorcycle race. Number 9. Karuna Karuna is a small town located in the northernmost part of Sweden, known for its stunning natural beauty and unique experiences. Beautiful Karuna Church was built in 1912 and is the largest wooden building in Sweden. One of the most popular activities in Karuna is dog sledding. Karuna is one of the best places in the world to see the northern lights. Abisko National Park is located just outside of Karuna and offers stunning views of the mountains and wilderness. You can go hiking, skying, or snowshoeing, depending on the season. Ice Hotel is built entirely out of ice and snow and offers a truly unforgettable experience. Karuna Mine Mine is one of the largest iron ore mines in the world and offers a fascinating glimpse into the mining industry. 
The Sami people are the indigenous people of northern Scandinavia, and their traditional cuisine is a must-try when visiting Karuna. Number 10. Vland. Vland is a beautiful island located off the southeastern coast of Sweden. It is known for its stunning beaches, rich cultural history, and unique flora and fauna. Borgholm Castle dates back to the 12th century and has been home to many Swedish royalty over the centuries. The Alvaret is a unique natural landscape that consists of a large limestone plateau dotted with small lakes, grassy meadows, and wildflowers. The land is known for its beautiful sandy beaches, such as Boda Beach and Koppingsdick Beach. Ekidurk Fortress was built in the Iron Age and has been reconstructed to give visitors a glimpse into what life was like during this time. Land is home to a diverse range of bird species, including the endangered great snipe and the Eurasian spoonbill. Land has a rich cultural history, and there are many museums and historic sites to explore, such as the Land Museum and the Neolithic site of Gatlinge.